New at 10 tonight, fighting paternity fraud. There are men who say they are forced to continue paying child support even after scientific tests prove they are not the biological father. Now they're fighting back, hoping to convince lawmakers to help them. I am a paternity fraud victim. Carnell Smith says it started 12 years ago when an ex-girlfriend called him and told him she was pregnant with his child. He accepted his responsibility and took care of the child until last year when difficulties with the mother prompted him to get a DNA test. He also took a second test. That second test confirmed the first test. 0.0% paternity. Smith thought he'd be relieved of paying child support, but to his surprise and others like him, there is no law in Georgia that frees men of the financial obligation once they've begun the process of providing support. Using DNA is a great tool. We use it in murder trials and what have you. We thought it'd be a great tool uh, for Georgia to use in the case of fraud uh, for paternity. That's why Representative Stan Watson held a hearing tonight at the state capitol to hear more about the problem and how legislation might help. In time, This goes on and on every day. Last month, I received 28 phone calls from men throughout the northern part of Georgia with this same situation, the same problem. How long is this going to continue in the state of Georgia before our lawmakers do something about it? Ray Pitts heads up a group leading the charge to change the law in Georgia so that men who find out later through scientific testing that they are not the biological father of a child can legally put an end to their child support payments. Many of the men who spoke tonight say it's not right and they are victims. I just don't wish this on nobody. Representative Stan Watson says lawmakers are also looking at legislation already on the books in Louisiana and Ohio that allows men to be relieved of child support payments if it's proven later through DNA testing that they are not the biological father. The men who testified tonight hope lawmakers here will follow Louisiana and Ohio's